Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad here bringing you another episode of Double Storm with it again. Um, today's gameplay is on Nuketown using this guy right here, stopping fast mag. Um, I didn't call him my first one because if I did, everyone would have left and the gameplay wouldn't be here. Because once you get a decent score streak, like a swarm or dogs, enemies leave amazingly quickly. But um, whilst you watch this gameplay, I just want to talk about the five reasons why Black Ops 2 sucks. And this is all in my opinion. And I think you may guess what's coming up first. It is the sniping in Black Ops 2. It's the bitchiest way out of any gun group gunfight. The aim assist is so broken in this game with sniper rifles. Snipers are better at close range, but the shotguns and submachine guns are better at long range. I honestly die from the biggest bullshit from snipers. Being an Aussie like I am, I get into a free for all with these with sniping fucks because they can't play the game properly. Work. It's so unfair how the blister and the DSR are so powerful and the aim is just so strong on them. But in Black Ops 1, the only decent sniper is on the 6. And you barely ever seen anyone using it. The only people that will use that are the people who are actually decent at sniping and actually snipe properly. Like, I, would, I can use them. It's L96 and Black Ops 1, but if I if you put half of the people, or even more than half from Black Ops 2 into Black Ops 1, using them snipers, they couldn't do it. Because there's no aim assist there. They should have just left the way it was, and the game would have been a little bit better, but they were so stupid. They tried to change it, they fucked it right up, and that was number five. Number four is the overpowered guns and equipment. By guns I mean the R870. DSR, MSMC, M8, A94, LMGs with Target Finder, FAL with Red Dot Select Finder, Pistols, B32R, Cat 3, all completely a fucking joke. The execution there is just shit altogether. Honestly, there's no point in that. But they're just so overpowered, their pistols are just completely fucking wrecked. They ruined the game, pistols are just as much as the sniping did. <clears throat> but, um, and by equipment I mean C4, Claymore, Bouncing Betty, Shock Charge, EMP Grenades, and all that other shit. But the only reason I use them, the C4 and the EMP Grenade, is because it's so hard to get score, not always in domination, but team defense from free for all, so I just throw them around trying to get as much score as I can because it's pretty much, it's no absolute way you can get a swarm into free for all without camping your ass off, you can't run around and do it because there's no points whatsoever. But I only use them because I spent my point. Like why would I not use them if I spent my point using them? It's making me look stupid if I don't use them. But the only reason I choose these things is because they are just the most overpowered things that stand out out of everything else. They are all worth a point in the Amazing pick 10 system, or should, I, or should I say the Holy Trinity as Thunder calls it, because everyone basically uses the same perks, lightweight toughness, dexterity, and then some overpowered weapon. Because they are only as strong, because they are that strong because of David Bondara. So that one number four, the three, easily, it's just the shitty maps, there's like basically about eight maps that I like to play in this game. Raid, Meltdown, Standoff, Grind, Hijacked, not really Hijacked, Studios are right, Uplink, Newtown, but they all pretty much maps for Buckles 1. Brought into this game and made shittier, but I can't even think of any more off the top of my head, but with the shitty maps, Drone, Aftermath, Cargo, Carrier, Overflow, Plaza, they all crap. They are filled with heavy legend spots all over, or it's a snub's head and a spawn trap like Newtown Demolition. They have no fun in them. It just makes this shitty game even shittier. Black Ops map or Black Ops 1 maps were fun. And most of the good maps in are in this game, Nuketown and Black Ops 2. Nowhere near as good as the original, same with Studio in it and Uplink. Why do they change all the good things I had right and then replace it with this pointless shit like overpowered shotguns? Black Ops 1 did not have overpowered shotguns. Black Ops 1 didn't have overpowered snipers, then you go to the year 2025 and everything's OP. Um, that was number 3, number 2 is the overpowered, easily obtained score streaks. 
by this I mean the UAV, counter UAV, lightning strike, health storm's not that bad, but it's there, and the hunter killer ruin, that pisses me off so much. You are guaranteed nearly every game you play on Black Ops 2, there is going to be one faggot that uses UAV, counter UAV, VSAT, and then they're most likely currently able to get 5 or 7 other players. I, I don't play with other people, I play solo, but it's just stupid when you get to game with them. You barely ever find tryhards in Black Ops 2. They're all snipers, shotguns, or camping with target fighter. But getting back on the score streaks. <sighs> all the same, um, when you go into open maps, it's then the score streaks are useful, but if you go to closed maps, like what have we got? St uh, meltdown. Uh, there's no point of using the VTOL warship, so why is it even there? They just didn't really think out the score streaks in this game. It's really crap. The score streaks, I hate using them. If you watch my videos, I always use the same things. VSAT, Escort Drone, Swarm, or VSAT, EMP, Swarm, I don't ever change it up because there's no point, I just hate using all of them. <sighs> I reckon Triarch will need a good break before they bring out Black Ops 3 or whatever they're planning. And that was number 4, was number 2. And here we are, number 1. Everyone can guess what this is going to be, the good old connection. Shoot first and die, or run around the corner about a good 10 meters and just get shot around it. It was bad in Black Ops 1, but it's 10 times worse here. Honestly, if you shoot first, you should get the kill, not the other guy. This has happened to me multiple times and it happens to people all the time. Like, I, I run past a guy and I don't even see him, and then he starts shooting, I turn around and I shoot him, and he dies. That, I just. If that happens to me, I'm just like, oh my god, how did that happen? I feel so sorry for the guy that I just killed. Because they shoot him first. I don't know what the fuck they've done to make it happen like that. But if you, you, like the player, shoot first before the other guy, guy sees you, you should get the kill. There's no fucking way that their bullets would kill you faster than your bullets that are already travelling before they even aim at you. It's so fucking annoying. I try to find a game like runs that bullshit around getting the ground corners and that but the connection trying to find a game is even worse. I can sit in the lobby for a good 10-20 minutes and I'll just find nothing. It says oh, trying to find a game, 100 MSP or some bullshit like that. Just put me into a game, I've got to lag anyway, the game's fucking broken. <sighs> and like, you know how it's got best, like search preferences. Put it on best, get into the lobby 3 bar. Put it on normal, get to a lobby with four bar. Put it on any, get into a lobby with like one bar. It's just so stupid. I know that's how any is supposed to work, but this whole skill based match matchmaking system is fucked it right up. No one cares, it's a game. If you fucking try hard, good go to the league play, whatever it's fucking called. But if you're here to have fun and play because you want to play, you shouldn't have to be put into a game with other people that are around your skill level. You should just be put into a game with people who are playing it. It is so fucking annoying just sitting there doing nothing. It's, oh god, nothing pisses me off more than that bullshit. And if anyone wonders why I play this fucking stupid game, it's, only, it's because I'm getting the double storm with the Ghana series and hopefully I can try and finish up before Call of Duty Ghost comes out. And which is less than a month away, which is really good, and hopefully it's fixed. And I'm gonna have a Call of Duty Ghost video really soon about all the new features and everything we just found out recently. So uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Hope you had a great. Hope you have a great day, anyway. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.